Hello and welcome. A merry crimbo and all that business. Um, okay, right. I'm going to try and not say um as much as I can. So I have quite a lot of difficult, so I might not be speaking quite so much. Anyway, right. Today we are looking at another Apollo mission, Apollo 17. This is the logo, horrendous. Okay, this is the image in question. Um, got it from uh, March to the Moon site. Uh, if you look on the other um, Moon videos, then um, you'll be able to see see the page and stuff like that. And in this is uh, the Nikon 35 millimeter, which um, is like your standard um, SLR camera, uh, I think. Um, and this was. Uh, mounted inside the window uh, it's quite quite interesting um more up my street in photography wise um i have a 35 mil dslr very old one uh canon um but as we know this is all cellular film stuff so this is the raw image let's just put some uh ambiance on if you wear headphones you'll be able to hear it doesn't show up quite so much when you use uh, speakers so i hope you all had a nice uh merriment evening uh, season rather and um okay this is similar to a uh recently did uh, apollo 10 um, where we saw like the whole surface uh, covered. I like these images, um, but they do take a very long time to um, enhance. And uh, but the detail you get out of them um, is insane. I think they were they were. I'm not sure what ASA they were using on these cameras. Um, but it's as low as 62 or something like that. So the lower it gets, the uh, the more information you can get into the uh, into the photographs. So if we have a look at this, um, just initially, you can see some lines. Now, if you're new to this, this is something you'll get used to um, when we're uh, trying to spot. Um, infrastructure and construction layout and stuff like that so there are some lines which move through here the gridded area this is quite an unusual area as well through here square bits um it's just a very intriguing picture as i will show you okay let's this um was semi part of the way through so you can start seeing the layout here much more and um that was an um it's uh very reminiscent of the other ones with the connecting lines with the structures and etc all over it so okay let's get into the full enhancement this has had a bit of um, warmth put into the image and what I'll probably do I may just set this into black and white and see see where we're at um, you might be able to see more so if you are new to this then um, I do suggest pausing and uh, just taking the image in um, they're not brilliant. They're, they're different areas of, of this uh, photograph um, are easier to view than others. So basically what we're looking at here, and I don't know what area this is either. Um, I couldn't find any um, uh, details on the AS uh, number of this um, photograph. So let's start so just to just to remind you what 
you do get to look at. Now I think these images are coming in about um, 300 dpi. Yeah, 300 dpi, which is um, amazing. So it's slightly pixelated here. Okay, so I'm just going to move around um, just so you can see the uh, the difference. And I'm not quite sure on this area if this is going to make any uh, difference to you. Um, but as we've spoken about before, we have these um, terrace platform type constructions, uh, which are very reminiscent of uh, pretty much all the planets and moons that we're looking at. Um, and even though I've been quite, shall we say, shady in my descriptions and stuff, um, I'm going to be start being a little bit more uh, open um, because we've done enough videos now. I think it's about 50 videos. Um, so I can start giving you some more of my my views. Not so much the labeling thing because like we've spoken about before, if you are new to this, um, if I label stuff immediately, then it immediately puts an idea into your head um, and with enhancements of, of any description that is um, it to me it doesn't uh, doesn't do you any favors because your your brain will just automatically presume things and and take takes takes the easy way out so what I want you to do is really think about this stuff and like I say, pause and um, view the image. Oh, there we go. And, uh, oh no, hold on a sec, hold on, hold on. Um, another thing, I've been wor worried about the length of the videos and they're not getting any views and stuff like that. I don't know why um, they're being suppressed or or simply they just aren't enough people not enough likes um, I'm not entirely sure how it works uh, but this this is the craziest stuff uh, you're gonna see um, I'm not gonna leave you you know thinking about what's going on and stuff like this I'm gonna, my ultimate goal is to show show you uh, the best that I can possibly get out of these images. So it leaves you in no doubt with your own um, uh, brain evaluation of it. And if you are new to this, I do suggest looking at the other, the earlier videos where I actually show you the research in action. And what that does, it gives you a focal point and helps you understand what I'm finding. And you will see this stuff appearing in front of your, in front of your face. I mean, it's simple. I mean, this could be anything. I could have, I could have done anything here. So um, I suggest you go and have a look at those, and it all will be explained. And it's this is available to you. This is the best way to answer questions or start a thousand more questions which is normally the case so okay uh what was i going to show you oh yeah quickly um about the camera this is a good site for images as well but march the moon uh, they come in a lot larger um but there's plenty of information um here yeah, this is where i got the 35 mil nikon camera here um, so it's endless. There's tons of information, and I do, I do recommend uh, checking it out and stuff like that. Um, 
because you need to know every angle. You have to look at everything. Um, and then you'll see how uh, duped we are. That's an American word, I think. Um, just how much we've been lied to. So this is a 1969 image, as far as I can remember. And if you look at the navigator up here, you can see where we are on the on the picture. So like I say, the top half of this image isn't quite um, as good as the rest of it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, there are certain areas of this map where there's absolutely no denying um, these are simply not rock formations at all. So just bear with it. I do chunder a lot, but I do, I am going to be giving you my thoughts a little bit more so just bear with it I understand people who are doing this research themselves um, you just want to see the results so hopefully you can improve your stuff or, or uh, just marry it up two things to the work that you're doing obviously And the thing with this site is uh, it's full disclosure. That includes the um, enhancement work, which is all part of it. There are other sites that are very reluctant to give you their methods of enhancement, which I think is ridiculous. Um, and I know this to be true because people have contacted me with questions about enhancing and things like that. And it's not difficult. So... Um, you're not special guys this is available for everyone and it should be so here you can see the surface getting more and more intense with structures and it is again another one of those photographs which is completely uh, saturated the whole thing is uh, covered in quite bizarre looking structures as we're uh, familiar with now uh, I don't know if any of you are using magnifiers on this um, which I still haven't done I still haven't done it's different for me because I'm doing the enhancement myself and I'm right in the image um, and uh, I I know what I'm looking at. So it's these areas I pointed out. Very strange. Let's quickly have a look here. You can see it here. So like I say, pause and just take the image in. See what you can see. See what I mean is... Uh, it's... Like I said before, I actually find these quite hard to uh, describe because there there is so much going on. If I start describing something, it, it will never end because as you can see, everything is just completely joined up to everything. is not um, compression pixel artifacts or everything like that this is the whole picture so you have to take that into account as well
There's so much going on. Like I say, if you are new, this is what you will find confusing. It's not simply like looking at um, a monolith or something like that in the middle of a, you know, a dusty plain. It, it, it's not like that. The, the, the realities of these moon artifacts, it, it's simply there are, well, cities. It must be, you know. And people build cities or beings because we don't know. Well, you hear the rumors and everything like that, but I'm not I'm not going to say until I'm more sure about it. But something interesting I saw on a site the other day. Um, which I was actually explaining to my son in, in the relation to correlating um, <clears throat> pieces of information in regards to research. And I've been doing this for years, reading books for years and years, long before I even started doing this sort of thing. And what you find is it's just tiny quite insignificant pieces of information that slowly but surely um, start building the puzzle for you and um, it was exactly what I heard on the, on this site as well and I think um, I think when you jump into this sort of thing don't you know don't look at the you know big picture the big picture you know it's 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 tiny stuff so you can't oh well, I suppose you can and, and a lot of people do but don't don't believe this um, or a, any type of research um, a, well, a, any subject shall we say that you do research on until you've explored all the avenues and read all the things and, and looked at different angles and stuff like that um, because our, our our brains, our human minds, are, are extremely lazy and extremely stupid. And we're quite willing to accept anything that we're told or see or, you know, and it's just simply not the case. So just be wary, even with this. This is why I wanted this channel to be able to give you the opportunity to try this for yourself and then speak to me or different people or and see how different your views will be so look you can see this and you can see the structures on top platform area here I'll have a closer look at this stuff in a minute there's some areas on this where I just picked out a few bits and bobs um, just to show you the difference in the uh, what they've actually done to the photograph, if I remember to show you, I will. God, yeah, I thought we were at the bottom then, but we're not. And what you're looking for is the, the, the design behind this stuff and the layout. This is what is so apparent in these images. Look at this.
I was thinking the other day, I was like, how many, how many more of these do I have to do? And I know there are other people out there who have been doing this for years, and I've got hundreds of videos. <clears throat> um, and you know, the, the, I know people are consumed by modern day living and stuff like that, but does this <clears throat> not mean anything? I mean, this is, uh, as I heard it, and <laughs> put it, biblical. You know, does life exist outside our planet? Yeah, on the moon. Let's just start on the moon. Let's check all the moon. I mean, you can look at anywhere, and it's there. It's that simple. You know, our planet is teeming with life, then why simply can't other planets be teeming with life? And they obviously are. And I've said this before, as, as much as I know from what the photographs are giving me, and uh, look into it yourself, check the videos out, Give them time as well. I know they're long, but um, you know I'm cataloging this stuff as well. I have to find a way to, that you can download these and keep them for yourself. Um, I'll look into it. And like I said, they are. They do take a while um, because there's so much to look at. In just this little area here. But you can clearly see this is joined and constructed, designed and built. It's funny to say, but don't be logical about it because you will be battling yourself. Just keep it simple. I did have a load of areas marked off on this, but um, I started the video and then realised that this was a, a JPEG, and it didn't. When I when I 
used a layer in here, it won't, it won't save the layers in JPEG. So like I say, if you're new, don't immediately expect to be um, understanding what is going on here. Because it's going to take your brain a while to um, get to terms with it, more or less. The best areas uh, are yet to come, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. I don't think there's a lot of point in just showing you a few bits here and there. I want to see the whole lot. And like I say, I'll try and work out a way where you can um, download this stuff yourself. Because I don't think you can do it off YouTube. If anyone knows, let me let me know, please. So remember the element of per perspective here, you're seeing um, the fronts and tops and some sides of this stuff. So it's not a bird's eye view, you know. Obviously we have the curve of the, the moon. can see the difference in the enhancements and I guarantee this is like this over here if you are new to this I'm not drawing on this uh, all the tools are explained um, in the tutorials and the other and the other videos if you look at this Thank you to all subscribers. It's pretty hard work doing these um, videos and I'm up against it with time and stuff. So, uh, thanks. I'm glad some people, clever people, are seeing this. I suppose we could call us ourselves the chosen few. Others would call us crazy. little details you've got to look for.
simply everywhere. joining lines obviously the more you enhance them the more apparent they are So we're doing the final run here. When um, when it's enlarged like this, you do pause it and check it out because obviously it gets more blurred. is everywhere even though this hasn't been worked on you can see it I don't know what to say really. Just look at it. everywhere
There's so much to look at. There you have it guys, another mind-blowing um, photograph of an inhabited moon, our moon. Well, probably not ours, well we might have something to do with it, but hey, look at this. Clearly constructed. I want to say. There you have it. Unbelievable. So let me know what you think. Um, I've got. You, you won't believe what I've got coming up. Um, beyond. It is beyond um, and we're going to keep coming with um, Antarctica lots of earth based stuff and um, still exploring the planet and their moons and their moons moons so um, yeah and what, what, what do people say uh, notification bell Hit that okay brilliant guys nice one and um, I will see you soon okay bye